I am fully aware of what y'all say about me. But one, and I don't give a like God, keep it a stack. Bitches move right. Thank you for clicking this video. Welcome to my space. Today's video is a fashion review of day two of the AMVCA's 2023, which is the Africa Magic Viewer's Choice Awards. Guys, you're going to enjoy this video. So sit back, relax, and let's have a good time watching. My name is Stephanie, and you're welcome to the Metro Gypsy platform. <laughs> guys so while you're watching please just click the thumb up button because it helps the video go round yesterday was the second day of it obviously you had seen the, my review of the cultural day if you haven't please the link will be in the description box go and watch it quick cute and short so you'll be able to watch it in good time and then you'll definitely enjoy the fashion looks and be inspired for your future african wardrobe my structure for this video would be an overview of the event i'll start with the host obviously and then just the vibe on how the setting was some fashion looks you know that i was sharing things that could inspire you for the future and guys i'm ending with a top five you do not want to miss my top five so keep watching our host for the event were my atafo and ifunaya i'm not sure what ifunaya was wearing but she looked really nice in this pastel blue say yes to the goddess trend dress and my atafo was obviously wearing atafo next we would go to the some of the people who were actually nominated so it was a nomination event at the same time it was a runway show so let's look at the outfits that I thought were really beautiful from people who were, who were actually nominated. Next, I'll show you just an overview of other people who came who I thought their style was worthy of note, who I thought dressed for the occasion. The occasion, obviously, as I told you, was a runway show and a nomination. So it's just like a night party, just an evening party with friends, something like that.
before we get to my top five let's give it up for the setting and sitting arrangements of this event so it was very informal in the sense that we're not just sitting straight and facing one place it was demarcated and then round the cushions look really comfortable it just look like a place you want to dress up and go out with your friends and just see celebrities and just have a good time so yes i really love the setting of it so let's get right into my top five number five on my list is Poke akindele i loved how she looked really cute in that dress you might say she wasn't dressed appropriately for her age no look at her legs they took that dress well the mini she can wear a mini she can rock a mini and then obviously it's a nice event it's a party she looked really cute just like someone that came to have fun and then her interview she was like you guys are saying i've been winning something something she just thanked all her fans she's like i hope i win <laughs> you know so that was really nice number four i'll give it to liko rose liko rose keeps bringing it i don't even know like when i saw the girl in big brother house she didn't even give me fashion but since afterwards liko in the house was giving us tomboy dancer but since she came out it's like i don't know if she has management she just has proper planning and execution of her brand she always kills it at every event she looks good her clothes always accentuates her strong i don't know she just looks beautiful every time and then she always sticks to the theme her pictures that's another thing i always talk about when you take pictures sometimes for event you might actually be looking good but your backdrop is now looking nonsense because rose never misses with good proper backdrop and just to give you guys a tip a good backdrop is actually a plain backdrop most of the time it doesn't have to be white but just giving i don't know just something plain not too distracting with rubbish things behind the Korosha gives us that and she's my number four number three on my list is a mini fashion goddess if i must say and that is tulu valley like she gave us model she gave us muse she gave us party she gave us statements Tolu Valley, I loved your look, and then it was in pastel as well. Like it was, it's a blue, very a bit darker shade of blue than what the host wore, but she looked like Tolu Valley. But she's anyway, she's a designer. But the thing is, I know every designer knows how to rock. <laughs> I guess she's a stylist as well. But yeah, Tolu Valley is my number three, and then number two, I'll give that to Tenyola. Luckily, she's also a nominee. I, I don't know if that's a nominee trailblazer. That was one of her positions. Well, that was like her position. Tenela gave us like this chair trend. I told you guys that I'm not wearing for this season. She wore it well. She gave us like she came for a party, guys. Tenela gave, and they have pictures. Pow, 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 pow. To be honest, she would have been my number one if number one did not give me the spice she gave. So, guys, drum roll for my number one. Have you been able to guess who my number one is? It's funny how my number one for yesterday is actually my number one for today. My number one for day one is actually my number one for day two. And that is Venita Akbafui. Oh my gosh, Venita gave us vibes. Like she now came with children that it's probably past their bedtime for that party they went to. But guys, she has won this whole show. And the girls now came giving us, you know, struts, giving us 360 degree of their outfit, posing. Benita is such a yummy mommy. I loved her look. She now came in pink. The girls too came in pink, different shades, different colors. It was so nice. So yeah, that's it. Benita is our number one on this countdown and I really, really hope you enjoyed this. Please share this video with your friends, your family, and your enemies and please subscribe. Click the bell also right beside the subscribe button so you get notifications every time I post. Drop a comment because I love to read from you. Most especially, thank you so much for spending your time on here. See you on the next episode, guys. Follow me on Instagram at Metro Gypsy. Bye! Mwah.